is Anirudh from Team Digit and today we have a very interesting product with us. What you see is a very sturdy package and this package holds possibly my favorite mouse ever. Like. And this is the Razer Ouroboros. So let's just open it up and show you what's inside. It looks like they packed some kind of gun in this. But anyway, let's just see what it holds. That's the mouse itself. And as you can see, it's an ambidextrous mouse. These are some side panels and we'll talk about these later. These are some optional side panels. This is a wireless charging dock as well as a wireless station. Then you plug this into your PC to get wireless access to your mouse. Battery. And the braided USB cable. So I'll just put this aside for now. So yeah, here's the Ouroboros itself. Now, it's an ambi ambidextrous mouse as you can see and it really, it, I don't know, somehow it feels very nice in your hand. It's very well built. The clicking is very solid and even the scroll wheel is very solid. I mean, we've had many mice in our office including the G9X, G500 and many from Cooler Master and all but they've always had problems with the scroll wheel. So, this one is very sturdy. It's been with us for almost a year and we've never had any issues with it. So, we we'll talk about the panels now. So you get uh, three magnetic uh, slots on the side and you can plug these panels into it. So like, as you can see, you can put it in any configuration you like. Like you can put, uh, yeah. So I personally prefer it this way, but if you are a gamer who moves your mouse around a lot and tend to lift it up, these might be a better option. So I'll just show you why. Yeah. So as you can see, my, when the mouse is in this configuration, it's very stable. It won't like take to the left and right unless you really try really hard. It's very stable like this. Now another feature that this mouse has is the fact that you can adjust this uh, palm rest at the back using this screw at the bottom. So I'll just show you what you can do. So as you can see the back has been raised a bit. And now the front. So yeah. And you can also adjust the length of the mouse. Uh, there's a switch at the bottom. You just press down on that and pull it out. And you can adjust it any way you like. And yeah, it comes off. And this is because you have a battery port at the back. Pop it open, that's your battery, pop it in. You press the switch again to insert the back panel and there you go. What you see here is a battery level indicator. So there's a quick guide just to show you what the battery level is like. And this I must say that the mouse pen doesn't come with adjustable weights. The battery pack adds quite a bit of heft to it. And if you really like your mouse heavy, then this is how you want to play it. This is the wireless dock as well as charging station. You just plug your mouse onto this like so and it will charge. You plug the USB cable into the charging station over here. Yeah, like that. And obviously the other end into your PC. And you can also use this mouse as a wired mouse by plugging it into the USB port right at the bottom over there. And the grooves on the sides so of the USB port just slides in very easily. Now, I would recommend that you use the mouse in wired mode because we found that in certain fast paced games such as Borderlands, the, we lost the wireless signal a few times. But for general use, it's fine. And yeah, you can see the ring lighting on the side as well as on the scroll wheel. And yeah, that's it. I mean, oh yeah, one very important feature. So normally mice come with on the fly DPI and yes you have the two buttons over there for on the fly DPI as well as two extra buttons on either side which you can uh, assign to whatever you want. But more importantly this mouse comes with what is called a clutch DPI. So you see these two switches at the bottom. You can lock and unlock 
and you might be wondering what these lock and unlock well it's these side uh, panels I would call them you can press down you can see you can press down on them so they act like buttons of a sort so whenever you press down the mouse can be programmed to change your DPI instantly and revert it back to its original when you release it so this is useful when you are sniping where you just clutch, press hard snipe release it back to normal and you can individually set it to whichever you like so you can lock one side leave that so this side won't move and you can use this side that's up to you so that was the Ouroboros for you now the price of 10,000 is a little high for this mouse I mean it is a lot but it is an amazing mouse in itself but this is more like a showpiece I mean it's not something if you really want to play you probably want something cheaper like the Naga which has the same sensor but this is a great mouse I mean I absolutely love it and I can definitely say that my gaming performance has improved simply because of this mouse and like your experience may vary everybody has their own preferences I love it and a few other members of our team love it and we have one or two who don't like it that much but it is a good mouse and yeah I would recommend this very highly if you can afford it of course so yeah uh, that's it thanks for watching uh, we look forward to more reviews like this online in the near future